Good morning, YouTube. I don't know. How does she look in the driveway, guys? I don't know. I'm not going to lie, guys. Backing in last night was the most difficult thing because the turning radius was so bad. I had to pull up halfway through his driveway just to back up. But anyway. She looks pretty good in the driveway. I'm not going to lie. I need to edge all this crap. How did the ball get down there? I think she fits pretty well in there. Let's go show the family and see what they think. Harrison, what do y'all think of the truck? Hmm? What do y'all think? What do you think? Do you like it? Do you like it? Genesis, you like it? You like it? Uh, Josiah, do you like, what do you think about the truck? You want this one or do you want the old one? Zeke, come out of the, uh, the grass. Do you like this one or you, wanna, you want the other one? Which one? Okay. No way. Can't go no, we're not going anywhere. I'm just... It's how it's in these little LED headlights up here. Mm -hmm. One thing about these Kim words, you feel like a small person to watch my words standing in front of it. Mm -hmm. and of course, I want to eventually put some lights down there and over there and everything. What goes up front of Uh, Tow hooks. There's some hooks you put in there, like if I need to get towed, if I get stuck or something, to get pulled out. Some little hooks you put in there. Good morning, guys. So, we are still in the W900. We're about to go pick up this load in Houston. And then we're going to um, take this back up to Dallas, Fort Worth, to my original truck, my International, which is in the shop right now. And um, we're going to figure out what we're going to do about this truck here. So we're about to go pick up this load in East Houston, in the Pasadena area. And then we're going to uh, take this straight on up there. So, and then my brother is graduating tomorrow in the Dallas area, and then my brother-in-law graduates uh, Saturday in the uh, San Marcos area, which is in between Austin and San Antonio uh, here in Texas. So, we're going to go, uh, like I said, pick this up, shoot straight out there, and we'll figure out what we're going to do with the truck. So, like I've said before, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think we should do. We should keep this truck. Uh, well, if we should purchase this truck, you know, and trade my other one in. Uh, if we should delete my truck and just pay the thirty-five hundred to be done with it, or see about getting the DPF depth issue fixed, which is going to cost uh, eight thousand dollars on up, and it's not even really fully guaranteed to fix the issues that the truck has been having. Not to mention the other repairs I have to do to that truck. So let me know in the. Uh, down there in the comments what y'all think I should do. Meanwhile, I'm uh, going to see about working it out for this truck to see you know, what numbers we come up with and everything. But I will definitely, when I come up with something, keep you guys up to date and let you guys know first. So let's get out of here and let's go pick up this load.
We're here to pick up our load. We're checked in. And if y'all look over there, if y'all know that truck, you'll know that's Karan. If you've been watching the channel for at least a month, uh, you'll know that's Karan. He's over there picking up a load too. And we're about to head out to uh, to Georgia. But he's going to take his load straight through. Can we get his truck? He's going to take his load straight through. And I'm going to hang out in Dallas for the weekend for the graduations. And take mine out on, uh, on Monday. So he's going to be about two days ahead of me. So... So yeah, we're just chilling out here in the W9. Uh, ooh, guys, that couch back there. Mm. Actually, we should go chill back there. But, and we're gonna hang out here for a little bit until they call us to a dock. Don't hit my truck. All right, guys, let's see what he's loaded with so we can kind of see what we're getting. Yeah, it even looks heavy. You have to get those tanners probably back up to the 40, 41. She got a free strap out of it. Oh, that's your strap. Oh. It's not has it's not hazmat. Uh oh y'all, Karan has slimmed up a little bit. Uh oh. Must got a girlfriend or something at home. <laughs> Karan's finished up That truck is pulling out of the dock So we're about to get loaded next Well, we're backed into our dock It's a little tight Just a little bit But we're sitting here Just waiting to get loaded up Shouldn't be more than an hour before we're out of here. But right now, we're just chilling. We are loaded up. Let's go check the, the weight distribution. Actually, he gave me a seal. If y'all watch this channel long enough, you would know that I'm always losing these seals and paperwork, guys. Seals, paperwork, and keys. Uh, I think I learned one day. Let's put my glove on.
Now with this weight, I think I may need to slide my tandems back. Slide them back right here. Guys, I really like, I like the way that it looks back there. She's got a nice butt, guys. She's got a nice butt. All right. Slide these tandems back. Let off the clutch just a little bit. Oh, she's heavy. All right. Let's pull up forward first. Gonna loosen it up a little bit. Okay. Get me to supply some more air there. Let's loosen them up a little bit. All right. Pull it forward. Is she gonna pull? Yeah, she's pulling. All right. Let's try it right there. Ah. Let's see how far we slid them. Oh, guys, I did that perfect. I did that perfect. Nice, okay. So I need a tug tested. Oh, it's already right there next to it. Guys, I have never. Come on out, come on. Like it's slightly off by like a milliliter. I'm just gonna tug test it. It'll lock right into place. Guys, I have never slid my tandem that perfectly before on the first shot. I'm getting better at it. <sighs> Nothing a little experience couldn't do. All right, let's tug it. Let's inch up just a hair. Locked, boom. All right. Now, I don't know about you, but let's supply some air back there. Just in case. All right, let's go double check. Just to make sure, because we don't want no problems. Uh, ah, see, this is why we check, guys. This is why we check. For some reason, it didn't lock in place. And now it's off. See there, this is why we check. This is why we check. All right. First, let's do this. Couple of seconds. Okay, I have passed it up, so we need to back up a little bit. Let off the clutch, just a hair. Slide on back. Truck should go back a little bit. There we go, I heard it lock, okay. All right. But we're gonna check again, just to make sure. Even though I heard it loud and clear. Is it lined up perfectly? Uh, I want to be like a little bit over that way, but we should be okay. So we get skilled and yep, it is locked in there. Even though I prefer for it to be right here, but let's go get scaled and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be sure. Ah. Let's check on this weight. Welcome 
Pilot, first way or First way. Truck number? It's uh, 805 to the side over here actually I think we're back into this little corner spot over here this is get our weight checked out. Well, looky there, guys. We are legal. But not as legal as I want to be. Because if I put any fuel in my truck, it's going to add weight to my drive axle. And right now it's about a half a tank in that truck. So what I want to do is slide the trailer act, slide my tandems up. Maybe about, I could do about uh, four holes and I'll, and I'll still be legal. It'll also take a little bit away off that steer axle. So the steer axle, I can't be more than about 12,000 to uh, 12,500 pounds. The drive axle, I can't be more than 34,000 pounds. The trailer axle, I can't be more than 34,000 pounds. And my gross weight can't be more than 80,000 pounds. So if I slide my tandem, slide my trailer tires up, it'll take some of that weight off the drive axle. And so that's what we're going to do. sure there's nothing behind us okay we got plenty of space to slide this back so once again we're gonna pull this that should slide right on in there and uh, yeah we'll slide actually guys if we would have got it right where I wanted it to be it would have been uh, pretty good but we're gonna slide it a good about four holes or so Slide these back.
All right. Okay. Okay, that should be good right there. All right. Let's see if that's any better. in place. Let's try tugging it and see if we can get it locked in there. Ah, all right. We're gonna do this. We're gonna keep our trailer brake, our trailer brakes locked, so I can just leave those tires in place. And it actually, we'll, we'll slide up one more hole. Screw it. Yep, it didn't lock. Okay, so I think it only wanna lock going backwards. Okay. Ah, let's go see. Push it in. So we're gonna try to lock it from in here. All right. So we need to slide them up. So in order to slide them, since they're sitting still, we need to back up. Just so back on up. Is it locked? I think it might have locked, guys. Okay. Back where it was, huh? It's locked. Okay, now it's locked. Okay, I think I know what it is now. Okay. Yeah, see, it's not. Okay, I know what it is. It's not locking when I push that valve in. Okay. All right, so let's wiggle it. We're gonna try pulling it up a little bit. Up, back. There we go, okay, we're sliding. Right about there should be good. So instead we're gonna when we push this in, it sends air to our trailer, which also pulls those pins out. So we'll do that for a few seconds. Let's do that. Now we'll try to tug it. Okay, I think it locked. Just to make sure it locked, we're gonna go backwards too. Backwards, now we're gonna go forwards. Okay, all right. I want to be sweet so I think this button here doesn't really work as well as it should when you push it in so we'll have to get that checked out but our pins are locked in place there's a pin over there I don't know if y'all can see it uh, right there there it is in here all right now we can hit the road
wearing a different outfit because it's a different day. So I didn't record the whole weekend, but we are back here at the yard. We're dropping off the W9 and we're happy, hopping back into the Lone Star. So we drove it uh, for a few days and I'm gonna give you guys a quick review on this truck before I head out. All right, so this truck needs a few things. The Jake brakes need some adjusting because there's some kind of squeaking or something going on with that. You all saw me struggling with the uh, the fifth wheel pull arm the other day. And so that definitely needs to be fixed. I don't know what's going on with that. If it's just a spring or a air hose or the actual fifth wheel itself needs to be replaced. That needs to be replaced or uh, repaired. Let's see what else. Oh. The work lights. You guys also saw that in the video. The work lights back here do not work. So that needs to be figured out. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, it does smell like mildew in here. So there is something leaking up under the floor. I don't know if it's the fridge or an AC line or what it is, but something is leaking. And all this is carpet. Actually, we can see if it's it's still wet let's see actually uh yeah it's wet it's damp in some spots so that needs to be the carpet probably needs to be replaced and also we need to figure out where this leak is coming from uh what else what else uh there was something else wrong with the truck too i forgot what it was so there's a few things wrong with it that need to be repaired so I'm going to have those issues addressed. We'll see if we can work out a deal or something on this truck, but uh, I don't know. We are going to uh, get all that stuff figured out. Meanwhile, we're going to jump back into the Lone Star because I have a load. So the load that we picked up on that truck, I've swapped things around and we are loaded and ready to go. So we're gonna get our landing gear up. We're gonna kind of pre-trip the truck uh, and get ready for this blitz happening next week. Actually, I'm gonna peel off that tape from then we rep replace this window here. <sighs> Cause I don't want DOT like, hey, what is that? You know, Ah, there we go. I'm gonna peel that off now, okay. So yeah, there's a few things that need to be replaced on a W9 fixed or at least looked at before we even think about purchasing it. So until then, we're jumping back into the Lone Star. Um, I am gonna make some phone calls tomorrow, see what we can work out, because I don't wanna jump into it as is. I really do wanna get that stuff uh, looked at. Oh, I know what else it was. The APU unit does not work. So I need them to look at the APU unit as well. We need to get that figured out. And now that I'm thinking about it, it's all coming back to me. It's coming back to me. The other thing we need to get looked at is that touchscreen radio. Because that radio does not work. The radio, the navigation or anything. So that needs to be looked at. So, so the Jake brakes, the fifth wheel, the radio, the uh, APU unit, and then that leak, whatever's going on back there in the sleeper, all need to be replaced. Looked at something, something's gotta happen. So until then guys, we are back in this truck. So, like I said, this is a new day, different day. I didn't record for the past couple of days because, uh, so we drove back out here to Dallas after we picked up that load. <laughs> I met my family out here. We um, uh, stayed the night out here in Dallas. We went to my brother's graduation at DBU, which is Dallas Baptist University. We went to his graduation on Friday morning, went out to eat, and then my wife's brother was graduating in the San Marcos area, which is down there near, um, What's it called? Um, uh, the Austin area, Austin, Ron Rock area, between Austin and uh, San Antonio. 
went to that graduation at a Texas State University. And then we came back up here to Dallas, got a hotel room here. And now we're about to hit the road here in a little bit. So I'm closing this video out. I think it's been long enough. So thank you guys for tuning in. This is Lone Star Texas Ranger signing off. And we're about to hit the road. So once I get that video up and going and recording all that good stuff, then uh, I'm taking y'all on the ride for that. So let me get these GoPro set up, get the camera set up. Um, you guys like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And check in with me on the next one. Oh, my God.